gotten really bored with the lame titles you can create in iMovie, so I decided to take things in my own hands here. I've used a plus signature as well as iMovie and also a trailer from iMovie. If you want to keep things simple, you could just use A plus to create a title screen and leave it at that. I wanted something a little more exciting though. So I've opened A plus signature and I'm going to load a photo from the photo album. I like the uh, lens flares, so I've created several of them. I'm going to select one of those. Uh, you can get them free from my website, by the way. And we're going to use text. This is a pretty simple program, so just type whatever you want, my movie title. And then you're going to have a choice of color. You can change different colors, you can change the box it's in, and so forth. But I'm just going to change the, the text color right now, leave it at that. Click on Attributes to go back. And click back again. And then you have your movie title. You can move it around, you can take two fingers and you can stretch it out, make it wider, bigger. It's very simple. You can also use a signature, which is kind of fun. So just go ahead and take your finger and sign whatever you want to sign. You can create title screens or just sign your name, whatever you like. And let's see, I'm going to click back again. Now we're going to go ahead and render it or save it as a photo actually. Photo album saves it to your camera roll which is nice. And then one thing I forgot, click on the gear symbol, do this before you you finish and make sure you have uh, a high enough setting so for your movie. We're now going to have to take our little title clip into iMovie. We're going to create a new project. The reason we need to do this is if you want to bring it into the trailer and make it a little more exciting, then it has to be a video. The iMovie trailer will not accept photos. So go find your title clip, just tap on it, bring it in, and all we want to do here is turn it into a movie clip, so we don't really want it to pan and zoom a lot, so the start and the end should be pretty close to the same thing. It's moving a little bit, I'm not doing it perfect here, but that's fine. Okay, so now we want to go ahead and um, go back to the main screen so that we can go ahead and render it. So click on the little star, go back here, and then the arrow. So now we are just going ahead and saving it to the camera roll. It'll be like about a little six second video clip. And do this as many times as you want for however many title screens you're going to want to put in the trailer. And you can kind of gauge by what I did. So now it's saving it to the camera roll. So that was just a sample of how to do it. I'm actually just going to open the quest for better, better titles that I already created and you can see what I did. Okay, we're just opening it and up here you're able to type in the movie name and I did a quest for better titles. You can do whatever you like there. Studio name, same thing, um, easy tech training. Uh, so go ahead and click on storyboard. If you notice here uh, on the first two clips I put the same clip twice. 1.1 second was just too too short so you put it twice and it's pretty much seamless it just s makes it two seconds 2.2 seconds instead. Did the same thing with the other title clips um, they were just going to be too short. Okay put fill as many of these little video wells as you like. Now we need to render it again. So we have to come back out here and we're going to render it to the camera roll and I'm going to render it at 1080p. Now it's rendering it and copying it to the camera roll. We're almost done but not quite. So let's wait a minute. Now it's at the camera roll. Now we have to trim it because the problem with those trailers you can't change them even a little bit. So we're going to open a new project and we need to go find our video clip, title clip brother. And if you look here, it's got a lot of blank spots where we didn't put anything in. And you can't delete them in the trailer when you're creating it. So I'm just bringing it in here and we're going to just cut it off, whatever portion we don't want. So find the end of wherever, you know, you add it's added information. So right there. So now I'm just going to click on it. Whoop, didn't want to delete take my finger and slice down the middle there and I'm going to delete the tail end because that's pretty much blank. So delete clip and we are now done. Wouldn't it have been nice if Apple instead of creating all these long elaborate 
trailers that we can't modify in any form or fashion. If they just give us a simple one where we could have created a title clip all in one step. That would have been nice. But anyway, this is my workaround. Hope you enjoyed it.